to Delicious Detours with Chef D. Today is a super important episode to me. It's near and dear to my heart because it's about my family. It's about who I am and how I got to where I am today. Um, if you don't know me, back a few years ago, I was diagnosed with lupus and it is a big deal. It, it changes who you are on a daily basis and how you interact in the kitchen. Because I can tell you, I love my steaks, my cheeseburgers, all of that was amazing to me. But I had to make some lifestyle changes as well. But it didn't mean that food didn't have to still be as delicious as it was before. So for this particular episode, I really wanted some special guests. And so I want to go ahead and introduce these two beautiful ladies that mean the world to me. My mother, Lakita, and my Amy, because I'm from East Texas, y'all, so I got to add a little twang to it. So my Amy, but her name is Stacy. So today for this particular segment, I really want to talk a little bit first, guys, because I want you to understand what lupus is and how it affects people and the demographic it affects. For a lot of people, they don't understand that for lupus, it affects mostly African-American and Hispanic women. Um, it creates a lot of issues and tolls within your body that change how you interact on a daily basis. I would say, Mom, for you, what would you say is the hardest thing for you to deal with with your lupus? What's hard for you on a daily basis? On a daily basis, I don't really have anything that's hard, but from time to time, I will have flare-ups um, with my inflammation. And it's really painful, and it's really hard to deal with, or to get up and just get through the day. So that, that just get up and go moment doesn't really happen for you. You're kind of just waterlogged in your body. Right. Okay. And what would you say? And yeah for me it's probably the joint pain okay. i have that a lot um and it is hard for me to get up and go as well in the morning have a lot of fatigue i've been di diagnosed with chronic fatigue so it is hard for me to get up and go have a lot of energy have a small child so it's hard for me to try to keep up with her and her activities okay so you got to be able to kind of get it in and out yes. the kitchen every day yes right so we got to be able to do that okay and then i would say you know for mom does do you feel different based on the things that you eat like if you eat a cheeseburger, do you feel the same that you eat, you know, if you eat a salad per se? I'm not gonna say, feed you guys any salads. <laughs> <laughs> I would say I can definitely tell when I don't eat the right types of things, how it affects my body, how it affects my energy level. I can definitely tell when I eat the proper things and the things that are good to help with inflammation. I can definitely tell. Okay, so today, we're going to really make something that's super simple that you can make at home in 15 minutes or less from start to finish. And so you're going to see, um, I want to talk about the different items. I want the recipes that are, are super simple for you guys. I don't want you to feel like you have to go to the store to buy anything. Um, and so we're going to be making a sauteed lemon butter salmon along with some fresh vegetables and a cauliflower rice. Mm. So have you ever had cauliflower rice before? No, never. Okay, we're excited? excited. Okay, good. That's, you know, I wasn't expecting any of y'all, to be honest. <laughs> My mama loves a good chicken fried steak, and so I did not think that I was gonna get that face with some cauliflower rice. But it is a great substitution for white rice or brown rice or potatoes. That's something that I really enjoy. I'm a starch girl, and we grew up on a lot of bread. Um, but bread is very hard for your inflammation. It's hard on your body. Um, it creates a lot of fatigue, and so I wanna kinda step away from that for this. Now it is perfectly fine to indulge and have great things, but today we want to show you something you can make quick that's healthy that's also a budget saver. So we're talking about dollars as well. So we have some goodies. So I'm going to move these over for you guys, but I'm also going to show you about how to cut these and, and the simplicity of it all as well. So we've got some cauliflower rice, which is really simple. So you can get this at your local grocery store, your HEB or your Tom, Uncle Tom's, wherever you are in your particular city. Um, but you can also make it at home if you want. But I think for the ease for most people and the convenience, you want to just go ahead and buy it. Um, we've got a slew of fresh seasonings as well. Um, so when you cook, ladies, do you feel like you cook more with real butter or margarine? Margarine, if I'm being honest. Margarine, so right, so and don't get me wrong, I'm a big margarine girl too, I like the extra flavor of the salts and all of the extra jazz, but it's not as good for you. So anytime we're trying to monitor health, it's going to be a little bit better for you to use real butter. So make sure you go to your store and you're looking for a container that doesn't say margarine, that doesn't say vegetable spread, that doesn't have any olive oil in it. You want to get something that's 100% uh, real butter or olive oil. And so we're going to be using a combination to create a nice creamy feel with the cauliflower rice, but to also sear off our vegetables. 
So I've got a nice piece of salmon. This is gonna be a wild caught salmon. So anything that you can get at your market that's gonna be sustainable for you to have is gonna be better. Um, I know I can get it at my local grocery store normally on sale. So this one pound filet, which should get you about two servings, is gonna be about $10. So we're already at $5 a person, but we can keep this meal under $10 and keep it really healthy. And so you're gonna get your salmon filet. This is normally a one person portion. So we have a beautiful piece, guys, of a sockeye salmon. It is farm. It is not farm raised. It is a sustainable fish. So it's wild caught. Really good for you and high in omega three fatty acids, which I'm sure you guys, doctors, have told you that that's really good for your body um, because it does help with inflammation and fatigue. So all the things that we're using today are going to be really good for you. So you can cook this whole fish if you like, and you could just serve a fillet. But I kind of like to do this as a stir fry because I think it's a little bit more fun. And so all you're going to do is just lightly take your knife. The easiest knife that you have in your kitchen it doesn't have to be big i know you guys think that every the bigger the knife the better but it doesn't and you're going to just slide it underneath the fish and then just rotate out and then once you get all that skin off the bottom of your fish which i think is a little bit easier if you're going to keep it whole you definitely can use the skin but if not you want to go ahead and cut it off because then it makes it easier to eat in your stir fry you don't have to pick through it and so you'll cut all that off. If you have a little meat with it, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. And so then we're gonna just cut it into chunks. So nice little bite-sized pieces, I'd say maybe two inches or so, inch and a half, nothing huge. So once you have all your fish cut, we're gonna go ahead and transition over to the stove so I can show you this one pot pan meal. Okay guys, so we've got a preheated skillet ready to go and we're gonna start it to cook our fish first. So a lot of people tend to just throw everything in the pan, and once they throw it in the pan, they start to season after that. We wanna season our fish a little bit first, so we make sure that our fish is tasty, and not just the vegetables or not the entire dish. I don't know if you've ever had just that bland meat in the middle. Um, but we're gonna start with about a tablespoon of some olive oil, which is a good fat for you. And now we're gonna take our sockeye salmon, and we're gonna season it with our blend here. And we have a little bit of a spice mix. So it's some sea salt. It's a little bit better for you than iodized salt, pepper, and then chili flakes. And we're gonna go ahead and just throw that fish right in our pan. And all of this cooks really fast. I think people are always really surprised on how quickly this whole dish really cooks. So we throw our fish in first. Now you can use whatever you more piece, you know. Oh, thank you. So, a lot of people um, are kind of particular about the recipe. This one, if you have a vegetable in your fridge, you can use it for this dish. It's kind of a hodgepodge throw in the pot type of thing. So we've got um, a half a cup of some fresh zucchini, a half a cup of some fresh squash. We've got just a little bit, a little sliver of some fresh red pepper, some bell mushrooms, about an eighth of a cup, and then some fresh onion as well. You want to have a spoon over there so we can stir this up? Perfect. So we're going to start not moving with everything around in the pan. And you're going to get a little sticky, which is okay, because we're going to add our sauce to it and it'll kind of all come together. So, as we're cooking our fish, the next thing that we want to add, because the zucchini cooks really fast, we want to have some crunch to it still. Stacey, you want to um, cut that lemon for me? I got it. Thanks. So, we're going to add our cauliflower rice that we talked about earlier right into the pan. You ready for this? Almost, just one second. We got our cauliflower rice in there. And so, Mom, if you want to start adding the rest of those seasonings and letting everybody know what they are. This is real butter. That's about two tablespoons, guys. Oh, here, I'll help you. She said, I can't get it out. Oh no! Wait, that's where a finger. Spoon. That's where spoons. That's what. That's where your fingers come in the hand, guys. Just throw it in there. Paprika. And that's about a fourth a teaspoon of everything, to be honest. Salt and pepper. And that's sea salt again. We want to stay away from iodized salt because it doesn't help with your inflammation. Fresh garlic and sun-dried tomatoes. 
So once we have all that in the pan, we're gonna add half of a fresh squeezed lemon. So there we go, Stacy. let's add some fresh lemon in there. And that gives it a really refreshing bite to it so you guys can feel the earth or the sea per se. And the last thing that we're gonna do is add a little bit of wine and that's gonna help us um, cook our cauliflower rice so that it doesn't stay too crunchy. And so we're gonna add just a little splash. Go ahead, I'll tell her when to stop. I might add a little extra. That's good. Now the great thing about this is, once you have all the ingredients integrated, you just kind of leave it there for about five minutes or so. It'll just take a few minutes, and then once we do that, then we'll plate it up and see what these ladies think of the dish. Okay guys, so it's been about five minutes and our dish is completely done. Um, it's one of my favorite dishes, it's so quick. I mean, you couldn't have it any better way, so. I have a question. Oh, go ahead. What kind of fish did you say this was again? So this is gonna be a wild sockeye salmon. Okay, is this the only type of salmon that you can use for this dish? No, so if your particular area or region doesn't carry sockeye salmon, you can always just purchase fresh Atlantic salmon or you can do like a steelhead trout, any of those will be fine. Um, those are still gonna be pretty high in those omega-3 fatty acids, which is the most important out of any of this. It is, and where'd you say you got this one from again? So, oh, so I definitely said you could get it at HEB or I did say Uncle Tom, y'all, it's not right. That's so not a real Tom, store. Tom Thumb, if you're up north, HEB's here in the south, but either one of those stores or your local grocery, Randall's, whatever you have. Um, and especially if you have like even a Walmart that has a fresh fish market, this is a good way to go. I just want to steer you guys away from pre-bought or pre-frozen fishes. We want to get something nice and fresh so you have a good flavor. All right, so we're going to get ready to plate this. You want to give me some plates? And cut this off. All right, guys. Mm. You want to give me a little assist on? Sure. And I'll give you the spoon. Okay. So it only took us five minutes to make this, but I prefer my meats well done. So is this completely well done? Does it have to be? So it definitely doesn't have to be if you're using a wild caught fish like the saga. But if you're going to do like an Atlantic salmon that's a little more farm raised, um, you definitely want to cook it a little bit more, but either way is perfectly fine. Um, you can cook the fish as low as medium or up to well. It's you're going to be your preference on that. But even still, if you cook it to well, you still should be in and out the kitchen in about 15 minutes. Okay. It smells so good. I know, guys. I cannot wait to try this. So let's dig in. I'm, you know, I'm a little hungry. I've been in here cooking. Well, I say I've been in here cooking like it's all day, but this 15 minutes sounds amazing. I think I'm just going to dig in. I, I know we got plates, but let's just dig in, guys. Okay. okay. And you can use more cauliflower rice if you want, if you want it to feel more filled with rice or that feeling. But I like the crunch of the vegetables, the texture of the fish. It gives you a, a hodgepodge going on. And it may not necessarily be the thing that you want to serve for a dinner party, but this is a great healthy balance that you can serve at home really quickly. I did not think it was going to taste this good. And I'm going to have another bite and they're going to talk about me, but I'm going to eat a little bit more. Mm -hmm. But I'm glad. I wanted it to be a surprise. There can still be a lot of flavor and healthy things. I think people are afraid of that. The thing is we want to just limit salt. That's the biggest thing in anything. We want to limit salt, but we still want to add lots of herbs and fresh garlic and things like that because they're not bad for you. They're actually really amazing, to be honest. And mm -hmm. by doing that, you get a, a fantastic dish every single time. That but I'm so glad. Flavor. Oh. Um, thank you, thank you. I like but, it, But um, I'm so glad you guys tuned in today to watch this particular segment. Hopefully you go home and you purchase these items. You'll be able to click the link below for the full recipe and all those guidelines as well. And I hope to see you next week.